This is just like my mother's hair was in the 60s. It's the same. I feel like my mother. No. <laughs> but I just, you know, it is the same cut. 60s. I've not cut it. I know. <laughs> in, at the, in at the back and high on the top. top. Very 60s. Well, that's in at the moment. Mm. And I've always liked that cut, haven't I? My mother said, oh, you look like Diana, so I said, well, I might as well have a bit of a haircut like Diana. You do look like Diana. You think so? Yeah. Do you get told that a lot? No. No. It's either been... No. Nobody really tells me I look like anything. Really. Um, did you come up by yourself today? Yes. Yes. First time. I've never come on my own before to London. Always had somebody with me. How come she come by yourself? I wanted to do it for my for self confidence. And you know, how, how did you feel? Did you have a drink before you come in? No, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I never drink on duty. But um, it's not that though. It's just I lost. I lost my um, train ticket. That's the problem. But then again, you know, it's going to be. It can be all right. It's just I can be a bit scatty. That's my problem. You know. Oh, my ears itchy. And they're very... Oh, isn't they? They've got little pillows on them. Did you find them hard? Mm. You're doing that best you do. Yeah, sometimes they just... I've got straighteners at home. Oh, good. And they're like those ones. Good. It's very thick, your hair. It is very thick. Sometimes just to go over it with something small. That bit was a bit awkward. I was trying to do it as you were blowing. Yeah, no, I just find, you know, sometimes when you're straightening it and then you go back, you know, like a blow dryer, it just pulls it straight. So that would done. Remember that other woman that I got to keep going over? Like, remember when I had like a poker strike? I've had three wigs. I've had a curly wig down to here, long wig in this cut, and a, wig, um, a, ba a basin cut wig. Because I was trying to grow my hair. So my hair has literally been a nightmare from day one. So now, you know, we can start afresh. Mm. Do you, um, when you was um, 16, did you have counselling? Um, well, it was hereditary. I had to have counselling. The operation. That's what I mean, yeah. Mm. But didn't they want you to hold that? How do you pay for that? You have to save. You did? Did they want you to, how long did it take you to save? A year. Huh? A year. A year? Well, we wanted it done as soon as we could. I did. I couldn't, I seemed to not be able to live without it. You see, you, you can't live. You seem to just, you seem to want it so much that nothing else matters. Yeah. Um, and then when I had it, I, I didn't know I carried on living afterwards. I thought I'd die or something. Yeah. You know, you I, what? Did, I didn't know you carried on living after the operation. What do you mean? I just was so inept, uh, I was so wanted the operation so long, for so long. When I had it, I didn't really know what to do. Did you? At what, what age did you, what age did you want it? Did you want it when you were 16? I was 16, I was washing the windows, and uh, suddenly when the phone stopped, and I stopped going on shows because the phone just stopped and I was getting older, I started thinking, and, um, and then, and then I, it came to my mind, something I blocked out, I wouldn't keep thinking about it. And then eventually I had to accept it, you know? I don't actually believe in marriage.
But I've been told you're engaged. I am committed, 100% fully, which people call engagement, but I don't believe in marriage, so... All oh, right. But you... Because he's gay. I don't believe but that if I marry someone that I'll love them any more or any less than I do. Well, that's good. Yeah. And has your girlfriend accepted that? Now she has, yes. So really, <laughs> so really then you just... I think oh, she's come around to my way of thinking. It's, it's, you know, people spend so much money on getting you married You can look these in the days. mirror and uh, talk to you. So, sorry. Sorry. So really then, you're in love and you just, well, you don't, you know, I mean, it's only a piece of paper. He's in denial at the moment. Anyway, to, to <laughs> John, hush your beak. <laughs> How long have you been together, big boy? <laughs> <laughs> He's disgusting. So, two years. Two years. I would have been my straight friend. We've been best friends for about eight years. Oh, hello. Yeah. So we knew each other before we got together, 100%. Well, I said um, on my show that I, they'll be out soon. I said, when I might be, when I, if I had to give up everything, well, you know, yeah. I would. Because for what? Love, for love. Love is more important than anything. Yeah, I think so. I think if you find it, I think, I mean, I'm very lucky because. It's, you know, he's it, got a it's title like my best friend, and and then <laughs> we're in love with each other, and it's it's quite straightforward. Do you know what I mean? And there's no happy. no, there's no corners. Are you happy? Very, yeah. yeah. And that's lovely. That's yeah. love. <laughs> no, it is. It's so beautiful. Yeah, no, it's nice. It's nice. It's I just, it makes the day. I'm in love. love. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'll tell you what I do find weird is being in here with no contact throughout the day. And that hurts you? No, I'd always phone her at lunch or just to make sure, she, you know, her oh, going that is love. And you know what it's nice as well that a man admits that? Yeah. I've no problem with admitting that sort of stuff. No, I know you'll find there almost there's a lot of things. Because he's got them gay tendencies, so that's his feminine side. But coming. there's a, a lot there's of... not a gay bone in my body. But there's a lot of men who are very sensitive. <laughs> But there are a lot of men who are. <laughs> oh, oh, I wear my heart my sleeve. I'm very sensitive. Oh, yeah, I'm, oh, like, I'm a yeah. mummy's boy through and through. So yeah. I'm a mummy's boy. Well, mummy's girl now. Because I was always a little, little majorette. What, your little majorette? God, no wonder you camp. <laughs> Mummy calling you majorettes, you know. <laughs> I used to like wearing her shoes. And when they went over the wooden floor, they used to clip clop. Because we had a wooden floor, you know, many years ago. Look like people <laughs> Good luck to you and your Thank you. Here and uh, you good luck to you. Thank and you. I and hope uh, that if you you'll ever get rid of your girlfriend, she's always available. That's what you said to me. Mom, anyway, just come back from us, good luck to you as well. Thank and you. I hope that everything yeah. works out with your girlfriend. Yeah, it will. Keep yeah. it alive, yeah. you know. Well. Always compliment her because women love compliments. Give them, give her flowers when she doesn't expect do you know, it. Do you know the one thing, the one thing that, that breaks her heart is that I've never bought her flowers. Well, why don't you? I've never bought woman flowers. Why? Know. Did you send some the other week? It's just. Why don't you feel? Well, you're not that romantic, do you? I know. I am very romantic. I'm very romantic. Do you know what I think you should go to go into flowers? Why don't you ever? No. no. Why don't you ever give flowers to I, I, don't, I don't know. I, th I think you, I bought her flowers you, you, once. There's something, there's something about flowers. But there's, you, tell, you tell me you love her. Yeah, I do. And tell you tell me you want everything. Yeah. And yet you won't give her flowers. Do you I know what happy should be if you did that? Do you yeah. want to see that smile on her face? I think I bought her flowers once, but... And it's Valentine's time. I didn't buy any flowers on Valentine's Day. Well, that's terrible. What did you get? Uh, you fancy him, didn't you? No, I'm, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm happy that he's happy, that's all. No, I think, I think that it's, what did I buy for that? I bought her a big card and all, everything she wants. is not he give a long time? <laughs> He's got no hope. See, I'm the son of no. He's no, got I no hope. No. No. I've got no, no hope. <laughs> no, every, everybody's got hope, but he needs some work in it. But uh, I just think that you need to get her some flowers. I really do. Yeah, no, I think I've got to send her some It's flowers. a mental block from flowers from. It's probably I your childhood. My mum and dad's relationship. Yes, yes. Yeah, I believe. Well, then,